This video is about how to run a business with a Force Traveler. The Traveler from Force Motors is a very popular vehicle and is preferred by many customers for their journey. The vehicle is so popular that it has a segment of its own. Most of the times, customers do not ask for a minibus, they just ask for a TT or Tempo Traveler. The seating capacity for a Traveler is 9, 12, 17 and 26 seats. If you want to get into this business with a forced traveler, let us look at all the actions that you have to take. To get a 9-seater traveler, the base vehicle will cost 12.5 lakhs. Over and above this, insurance costs 35,000. Tax is approximately 4,500 per quarter. Permit charges cost another 2,000 rupees. You will also have to set aside approximately 8,500 rupees as registration expenses. The 9-seater traveler sold for 12.5 lakhs comes with inbuilt air conditioner and fixed glasses. So we do not have to spend additional funds on the air conditioning. Next comes interior designs. There are many workshops that specialize in traveler interior works all over the country. One of the best in the business is Josh Designs from Kerala. Vehicles which have their interiors fitted out at Josh Designs command a higher resale value. An average interior would cost you about 2.5 lakhs and the cost fluctuates based on the specifications. It can easily go up to 3 lakhs, 3.5 lakhs or even 4 lakhs. On an average, you should be able to get the job done satisfactorily for 2.5 lakhs. Stickering of the vehicle will cost another 5,000 rupees. Everything put together would come up to 15.5 lakhs as total cost to set up a traveler business. We can avail a loan of up to 90% of the ex showroom price, that is 90% of 12.5 lakhs, which is roughly 11 lakhs 25,000 rupees, and uh, we have to bring forward another 4 lakhs from our side to cover down payment, registration, interior and stickering work. In other words, if you can invest 4 lakhs, then you can comfortably start a traveler business. The 12 seat traveler costs 15 lakhs ex showroom. Insurance is 35,000. Tax per quarter would be 6,000. Other permit charges including registration would be 10,000. This vehicle is available with AC. If you so wish, you could purchase a base vehicle and add air conditioning for 1.5 lakhs. Air conditioners are available from Jingi. To get the interior done will cost us 3 lakhs and in all the vehicle would cost us 18.5 lakhs. And going for 90% of ex showroom price as loan, we would be eligible for a loan of 13 lakh rupees with the remaining 5.5 lakhs coming from our side. For a 17-seater traveler without AC, the vehicle cost would come up to 13.5 lakhs and 40,000 insurance with 9,000 as quarterly road tax. Air conditioning will cost 1.5 lakhs and interiors 3.5 lakhs plus with a total of 18.5 lakhs and 12 lakhs as loan with 9 lakhs coming from our side. Finally, a 26 seat traveler costs 18.5 lakhs and comes with inbuilt air conditioning that is centralized. The insurance costs 50,000 and tax comes to 20,000 per quarter. Interior costs would come up to 3.5 lakhs and overall the vehicle would cost 22 lakhs. With 90% loan, the bank would give us 16 lakhs and 6.5 lakhs would have to be brought up from our side. Please note that prices can change and your bargaining powers with the dealer also matter in getting the price down. Now that we know how to purchase a traveler, let us look at the actual running expenses of the vehicle. 
the main monthly expense is EMI. 25,000 is the monthly loan payment for a 9 seater, 30,000 for a 12 seater and 17 seater also is approximately 30,000. 35,000 is the EMI for a 26 seater. The interest rate on the loan would be approximately 10%. Let us calculate other maintenance expenses. Assuming that the vehicle runs for 40,000 kilometers in a year, let us look at all the expenses we are likely to incur. For 40,000, we would have to change oil, rear axle oil and gearbox oil twice a year. Hub creasing once a year. Brake liners would have to be changed also every year. Every 5,000 kilometers, we have to align the wheels and balance them for every 10,000 kilometers. Tire life on a traveler is approximately 60,000 kilometers per tire. MRF, Bridgestone and C8 are some of the tires you could consider for the traveler when the time comes to have them changed. On an average, we would have to set aside 35,000 rupees for mechanical maintenance per year. The vehicles are expensive to maintain and have to be looked after delicately. They do not take well to rough driving. 15 seat vehicles are the ones that are in most demand from customers. Dividing this after adding the EMI and tax would come up to 40,000 rupees approximately per month overall as expenses. Let us look at the most important thing, that is the rent rates for the traveller. The traveller is usually hired for 5000 rupees per day for 50 kilometres. Any additional kilometres would cost 25 rupees per kilometre. These rates change based on the season of the year and importance of the days the vehicles are hired on. There is also a pickup or drop service for 2000 rupees per trip that is available. Toll, driver's daily expenses, parking charges and permit charges are extra and will be borne by the customer. Sometimes the vehicle is hired as a package for a tour and the cost is fixed in advance. Trying to calculate the approximate annual income for a year, the income would be 20 lakhs per year. The mileage of the vehicle is 8 km per litre and fuel cost for the year would amount to 3.5 lakhs. Adding expenses of approximately 5 lakhs per year, we can recover the interior and registration costs in the first year itself and still be left with a profit of 7 lakhs per year. Looking at all the scenarios, it is easy to earn a profit of 5 lakhs per year. Majority of the customers love the force traveler because of its looks. We can tastefully modify the interiors and paint the exteriors of the vehicle and the vehicle would be much loved. One of the biggest advantages of the traveler is that it is a rear wheel drive vehicle. This works in its favor in guard sections. The stability and comfort of the vehicle is also extremely good. The traveler is based on the Mercedes Traveller. In, in the olden days, uh, I'm talking about the 90s and the early 2000s, the Traveller used to come with a Mercedes-Benz engine. Force, uh, because of uh, the restrictions we have on pollution standards, they have modified that engine to suit uh, BS4 and now BS6 norms. Another very important uh, fact of the Traveller is that it is a monocoque construction vehicle. A monocoque is uh, it's very unique in its class. For example, any other vehicle, be it a 407, be it a Tata Winger, they are all body on frame vehicles. So you have a chassis and the body gets mounted on top of that chassis. But for a traveler, it, it is more like a car where the, the body is the entire unit and the tires, the engines and everything get bolted onto the traveler. The Traveller is also, uh, why the Traveller is loved more is because of the unique process of manufacturing. So the painting of a Traveller happens by a Traveller getting dipped into a big pool of paint. 
So travelers are delivered white. I mean, they don't come in different colors. And uh, what happens is since a vehicle is dipped in the pool and then lifted up, paint covers the whole surface of the vehicle. And this helps the traveler fight rust in the long run. Overall, it's an excellent vehicle. And uh, thanks for all your time here. Kindly consider subscribing to this channel to get more similar updates.